Um, I also think there are real people solving real problems on there. Uh, and, and I do think there, there's real coins or real like assets that are generating value. Right. And I think it's very hard to know which one's which. And yeah. if I were to give someone advice, if I were to give someone advice, you know, I'd say like, one, look towards, this is for the general per- person, look towards Web3 uh, companies or coins or technologies, whatever, that you feel like solve a problem or do, or is doing something interesting that you can grasp, right. right? So I think what happens with a lot of people is that they don't have any financial background. They don't understand how finances work, how investments work. Right. So what they do is they hear someone that they sort of know or trust say, hey, this is gonna do well, trust me. Uh, it's yielding high, right. put your money in here. And like, they let that be enough to put a lot of risk in their portfolio. Right. If you if you make, if you have a hundred bucks and you wanna put five bucks into a risk, that's fine. That's 5% of, well, maybe that 5% is pretty high, but like that's a percentage that you can be like, I can risk this. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people are putting like 25%, 30%, 40% into things that like fundamentally they don't understand because yeah. they don't understand the math or the finance. That I think is, how you're going to find yourself around people that are not just scamming, but even delusional. So like yeah. they're good people, but they just don't, yeah, they, they it's, can't it's, bring themselves to, to quit. Oh yeah. There's, know? there's echo chambers uh, all over the fucking place. It's f- right. pretty fucking bad. But if, you under, but if you understand the problem they're solving, I think that like you're in a better position to say, I believe in this enough to put my money in. 